In this video, I'm going to walk you through a tutorial on how to use Jasper AI. This artificial intelligence tool allows you to create both text and image content. It's a fantastic copywriting tool with a variety of templates, and it even adapts to the tone you want to use for your business. You can try out Jasper AI for free for seven days. The link is in the description below. It's an affiliate link, so if you sign up through our link, we earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. This helps support our channel. As for the pricing, the most affordable plan starts at $49. There are more premium subscriptions available, and you can get a discount if you subscribe annually. But you can start by testing it out for free for seven days. This should give you a good idea if it's the right tool for you. Hopefully this video will help you decide if it's something you can use in your business. So once you've set up your account, you'll land on the dashboard. The first thing we're going to do is use the brand voice feature. This allows us to feed the AI with information that matches your brand, your way of expressing yourself, and your work style. To do this, we'll click on Add Voice. We'll start by having it scrape our website as a base. If you direct it to your website, you'll need to wait a bit. Then, Jasper will tell us the tone it has identified based on the website we've provided. I think it's pretty accurate, but you can modify it if you want to add more information about the tone. We'll name it AI Power Lab and set it to be automatically used for all the campaigns we'll create later. After that, we click Create Voice, and we have our voice based on the website. Note that with the basic account, the cheapest subscription, you can only create one brand voice. But for most people, this will be more than enough for your business. Remember, you can modify it later if you wish. Now that our brand voice is created, you can either create campaigns, create content, or simply chat with the AI. Let's start with the chat feature. It's very similar to ChatGPT, meaning you pose a question or a prompt, and then indicate whether you want the response to be quick or slow for better quality. I always recommend choosing quality. You can also allow Jasper AI to conduct web searches simultaneously, which I strongly advise doing every time. If you want appropriate responses, it's better if it has access to the web. Also, specify your brand voice. We'll choose AI Power Lab, of course, to maintain the brand image we want to project. Simply put, just like in ChatGPT, we're going to paste our prompt and see the results. And here we can see that once we provide a well-crafted advanced prompt with all the necessary information for the AI to work with, we get a highly effective response that can be used for your business. But that's just the chat function, which is quite similar to using ChatGPT. In fact, they might be using ChatGPT's API behind the scenes. It's possible. But let's focus on the much more powerful aspects of Jasper, which are the campaign and content creation features. So one thing we can do is simply click on Create New Content. And here we have several options. One, create a new document. We'll look at this later as it's the most powerful part of Jasper. Two, create content from a template. Three, create a blog post. But of course we can do this in a document or from templates. Four, and finally we can also create an image. Let's do that. For example, you choose a text, a prompt, to describe your image. I've already put in an example of a prompt. Then you select different details, the type of mood, the type of medium you want. I've chosen photography, but there are plenty of other options. Then indicate the inspiration and the language you're using. Next, you click on Create Art. Wait a little and voila! Your images have been generated, which you can of course save to your campaigns or directly download if you like them. Of course, if the result doesn't please you, you can always relaunch the creation to generate other images, potentially modifying certain things in the details or the prompt. That's pretty cool, but I think we're not going to subscribe to Jasper just for the images. We're going to use it more for creating content, so that's what we're going to do now. So now let's move on to new template. You'll see that there are quite a few cool templates, for example, if you want to create an Amazon product, or if you want to create a Facebook ad, etc. I'll let you explore that on your own. For this video, we're going to use the Ada Framework template. Here, we're going to provide some information about what we want to create. I've entered a product that we sell. Our chat GPT marketing prompt templates membership for just $9 slash month. Let's see what it comes up with. We'll click on brand voice. You can see here that the voice has already been chosen, so we're ready for the generation. And here's the result. Quite successful. We have a second version below and we have a small text that's perfectly usable in our marketing. You can rework it, expand the content, or you can regenerate it if you don't like it. But we're going to go much further. I'm going to show you how we're going to create a long blog post with lots of content. For this, head over to Create New Content and click on New Blog Post. 
Here, you indicate the subject of the blog, then you specify the audience you're targeting, the language, and then we're going to click on Generate. Boom. OK, we've got our blog. You see, we have a defined title, an introduction, a lot of content, and a conclusion. Now you might be thinking, I wish it was even longer. Well, what we're going to do is click on Open Document, and this will take you to the same place as if you were creating a basic document. So we click on Open Document, and we immediately have the Advanced Power Mode interface, which you see here. Alternatively, there's the Chat option and the Focus option, but Power Mode is the best. So we have the base content that has been included in the document here, and you could potentially rework it. But we're going to work directly in the document on the right. At the top left, you can change the name of the document. But what we're interested in here is improving the content. You see, you're already in a system as if you were on your blog with bold titles, etc. But most importantly, it allows you to rework certain elements generated by the AI. So if you wish, you can, for example, press here, use Command J or Cartrel J on PC, and Jasper will continue to write information based on what was written before. It's a super cool feature, but you can also use commands, sort of like prompts. For example, for a command, you could place it here, give it a prompt, and voila, you have an additional paragraph. Don't forget to choose the length of the generated text in the bottom right corner by selecting L. This allows us to create more content each time, which is more interesting because even if you have too much, you can always delete a sentence later. To know all the usable commands, click on the purple button in the top right corner. Go to Keyboard Shortcut, and you'll see all the information and other commands that are accessible in this interface. This is where all the power of Jasper is revealed, in this document system, and by using shortcuts. You can easily write more content each time and improve your blog or sales page until you have enough. Once you're satisfied, all you have to do is copy and paste it into your WordPress, Shopify, or Medium blog. And boom, you've created your content very quickly and easily, at least more easily than with ChatGPT. I really recommend you to test Jasper, at least during the 7-day free trial. You can go through the link we have under the video. It's an affiliate link. It won't cost you any more, but we get a small commission if you stay subscribed. Test the differences, see if you can use it in your workflow, and if you find it more effective than ChatGPT, then stay subscribed and use Jasper to improve your business. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, give us a like, and I'll see you soon for more videos on artificial intelligence. Thank you.